And now I give the floor to the distinguished representative of Indonesia. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, uh, good afternoon. May I kindly ask you to take your seats, please. In the interest of avoiding confusion, the GA should clarify this issue now. Russia's proposal is an attempt to threaten transparency in the GA. Your attention to this, the Russian Federation has not yet raised the issue having to do with a secret ballot on the recession. Thank you much for the intervention. Let me continue. Uh, the re now I give the floor to the distinguished representative of Costa Rica. Let us be clear. Donetsk is Ukraine. Lugansk is Ukraine. Kherson, Zaporizhia and Crimea are Ukraine. Khususnya mengenai Ukraina. Saya menekankan ajakan Indonesia agar semua negara menghormati kedaulatan dan integritas wilayah negara lain secara konsisten. Now I give the floor to the distinguished representative of Indonesia. Mr. President, respect and adherence to international law, sovereignty and territorial integrity are fundamental and a principled position for Indonesia. It is crystal clear for us that the settlement of disputes between country must and can only be resolved through peaceful means in accordance to international law. Only genuine dialogue can bring lasting solution. War brings us nowhere. The war in Ukraine is evident that only death, destructions, and human miseries are winning. Events in the last few hours and days further confirms this. Therefore, we reiterate our call to stop the war. While we welcome the efforts of the Secretary General and of some countries to bring the parties to dialogue and to the negotiating table, the international community must work harder to ensure that peace prevails. We have to aggressively wage peace. Peace must be our ultimate aim and priority. Mr. President, as the war in Ukraine persists and its response takes hold, the number of casualties and refugees continues to surge. Moreover, the war has also caused far-reaching consequences. Billions of people, particularly the poor around the world, have become unintended victims of the war. Increasing costs of grain and fertilizer perpetuated by the war contribute to the worsening of global food, energy, and financial crisis. The Secretary General has referred to this as a one in, ge in, a, in a generation global cost of living crisis in which developing countries are disproportionately affected. It is not too late for us to choose an alternate path. Ending the war is the only way to save lives and to ease the suffering of innocence around the world. The unity of the General Assembly is needed more than ever in addressing the wider humanitarian impact of this war. Mr. President, the referendum of four regions in Ukraine not only violates the principle of the UN Charter and international law, it also further complicates effort to peacefully resolve the conflict. As the highest decision-making body of the United Nations, the General Assembly must resolutely demonstrate its political leadership, including in the outcomes and resolution it produces. We must ensure that the General Assembly do not only represent the political aspiration of the few, we must also avoid a take-it-or-leave-it approach. We therefore deeply regret that inputs calling to stop the war and for the immediate and peaceful resolution of conflicts in Ukraine failed to be reflected in the final draft of today's re resolution. We remain convinced that lasting peace can only be achieved on the negotiating table. We should not let efforts to finding peaceful solution be held back by divisions and distrust. Indonesia stands ready to engage constructively, including through promoting conducive environment for peace. I thank you, Mr. President. I thank the distinguished representative of Indonesia. To condemn Russia's sham referenda and attempted illegal annexation 
of the Ukrainian regions of Kherson, Zaporizhia, Luhansk, and Donetsk. The largest forcible annexation attempt since the Second World War. The Kingdom of the Netherlands stands firmly with Ukraine and will continue to provide support for as long as it takes. Yet President Putin has claimed that these so-called referenda reflect what he calls the will of the people in these illegally occupied territories, that they were somehow miraculously in two days after being called, two days after being called, that they're being carried out in line with democratic standards. He's alleged that they are somehow consistent with the UN Charter, as if the UN Charter means nothing. China is deeply worried about the recent intensification of ground conflicts and deplores the civilian casualties and damages to civilian facilities thus caused. What is urgent now is to guide the parties concerned to exercise restraint, avoid escalation of conflicts, prevent confrontation from getting out of control. These United Nations will not tolerate seizing a neighbor's land by force. We will stand up to it. These United Nations will not tolerate the destruction of the UN Charter. We will defend it. Entitled Territorial Integrity of Ukraine, Defending the Principles of the Charter of the United Nations. Will all delegations confirm that their votes are accurately reflected on the screen? The voting has been completed. Please lock the machine. The results, the results of the vote is as follows. In favor, 143, against 5, abstentions, 35. Draft resolution A-ES-11-L-5 is adopted. Saya tegaskan posisi prinsip Indonesia mengenai pentingnya penghormatan terhadap kedaulatan dan integritas wilayah. Yang ketiga, walaupun masih sangat sulit dicapai, saya tetap sampaikan pentingnya penyelesaian damai dan spirit perdamaian tidak boleh pernah luntur. Dalam kaitan ini, saya menawarkan diri untuk membawa pesan dari Presiden Zulanski untuk Presiden Putin yang akan saya temui segera.